Hello everybody, welcome back to Cooking Time. We are back on the new diet cooking time. Low carbs, no carbs, that's what we're doing now. So today we're gonna make spaghetti squash. So let's go over the ingredients first. First, we got two pounds of ground turkey. Lean ground turkey, that's the least pretty, pretty much I could find there because as we know, still 2020 and things are hard to come by still at Walmart. We got about medium size, I like a sweet onion. This is gonna be part of our sauce right here. Got some minced garlic, two jars of sauce. What size jars are these? 24 ounces. 24 ounces, which so, is about your normal size, unless you got the family size so one. So 48 ounces total. Yeah. Salt and pepper, olive oil, cooking spray for that. And to start the show, the, the, the big old spaghetti squash, which can't be a tip. We actually have made this, I think last year together we made this. Mm -hmm. um, for this, you want a medium size. We guess this is medium size. Um, but before we start anything, oven. Over here, we're gonna preheat at 400 degrees. Okay. That's the first thing we're gonna do. Secondly, we're gonna cut this bad boy in half. So there's many different ways to do this. My first time cutting one half. Hamburger or hot dog? Oh, we're gonna do a hot dog. We're gonna do a long, long way for this one. Okay. So we're gonna take the biggest, sharpest knife we've had, which is this one. These are very tough. Yeah, so we're gonna not cut my hand. Mm. <laughs> I will say I just scared the crud out of myself, everybody. So we're gonna try different. You're making me nervous. I made myself nervous, so we're gonna just go go in. It may not be officially halfway, but I just almost cut my hand open. So oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh I'm thinking the same thing right now. Trust me. So okay, so we're gonna take this out. <laughs> And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go in deep. Do not do what I just did. It almost, you know. Why don't you go in the middle? Good. Oh, my God. I have just made two holes in this, but you know what? I am so nervous. This is a okay, good we got on. it. It actually went halfway through. Okay. This the is a next... good way to get your frustrations out. Oh, Are no. you okay? Yeah, I'm good. I'm just scared. So this can go away now. <laughs> Put the knife up. Yes, the knife is gone. Um, next thing, we're going to get ourselves a big old spoon. Okay. Um, we, we're going to need to switch sides real quick. So I'm going to put this in the um, trash as I go. Okay. So. What are we doing with this spoon? We are going to gut this thing. That so, one was gut. What, we're taking all the. We're taking all the middle, the seeds, all that stuff out. So. Okay. I'm going to take this spoon. It's fairly simple. I mean, it's, it's like the texture of a pumpkin here. It's pretty much what I compare it to. Like, if you notice, the seeds are very pumpkinish. Now, some people like bake their pumpkin seeds and eat them. Can you eat these? Did see that on the recipe online. So, plausible. It is, it is I think squash is technically a fruit. If I'm not mistaken. So I found it last night. I was, because this. I would think you could, like you would prepare them just like pumpkins. I would, it would surprise me. We're not doing that today though. No, we are not. I am getting a little too his flesh. But actually, I found out last night, because I was, um, last night was Halloween, we're filming this on um, November 1st, was that actually a pumpkin's a fruit. Did you know that? Mm -mm. Yeah, I found out last night. So I think most squashes are fr technically fruit. I can be completely wrong. Put that little chat in, chat in the bottom, please, if you know that. That way we can all learn something today. I think <laughs> you can leave what's left. All right, we're good here. We still got one more thing to do if this burger puts this aside. We're going to go with this one. So, this is okay. Yeah, that's... You're getting seeds everywhere. I know, but hey. I hear them. I hear them too, love. <laughs> Actually, I heard from Pop Mozo, he really likes your commentary in the background. A lot of people do, they said. Here's a seed. They look just like pumpkin seeds. Oh, right, they do. The, the, what gets me is that the flesh in the middle, if we look at it, is just like a pumpkin too. It's that stringy kind Well, that's what makes this so much like spaghetti. Exactly. It's stringy. Mm. 
Okay, one more scoop for my butt. All right. So now what? Well, now, as I put all this away, I kind of wash my hands real quick because they feel gross. All right, next thing we're gonna do, as I said, first thing, take our cooking spray. Now, one thing on a baking sheet uh, we like to do is always put a little bit of foil, less mess. So, we don't have to, not that sometimes we don't have to wash our um, baking sheets because we do a little foil, just throw it out. Easy, one well, less thing you gotta clean at the end of that. So, we're gonna take our cooking spray, we're gonna lube it down, then we're done with this. Next thing, we got to season these a little bit. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to take some, I'm going to take off my wagon real quick before I do this because I hate having olive oil. We're going to sprinkle some olive oil on both of these. And what we're trying to do, we're going to get a nice little coat. And I'm going to take, so a little less messy, take some paper towel. Now I'm just going to smear this olive oil all over. This is going to help it cook when it bakes. Because what we're going to do, the way we're going to cook, we're going to cook it where it's going to be down. Where the actual sides we have cut open are going to be down. So it kind of steams on the inside all itself. This is going to accelerate the heat getting on it. So we've done that. Boop. Next thing I saw, pepper. Some salt. Maybe we'll do a little liberal. This, this is definitely going to cook off. Off this. I make sure I put pepper again. This is something that's going to really cook off as we're doing because it's going to be face down. So, we're done with pepper. So, these things right here, we are done. We are done with salt and pepper, we are done with our olive oil, and we are done with our. Um, Spray. So we're going to take these face down like so. One more thing we're going to do before we come to the oven, we're going to take a fork and we're just going to, you got to stab it. I'm making myself nervous <laughs> right now, I'll be honest with you. All right, one done, one to go. And what is and this thing? This is going to help the heat get inside it. And it's going to help release some steam on the inside too. Okay. So we're going to do the same thing where I hold my hand like this. Okay, put that up. Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> Alright, I'm cut my hand. Don't want to stab my hand. So, these are good to go. What we're going to do with these, we're going to put these in the oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 40 minutes. Or, that's the normal they say for medium check it because we're gonna make it we want fork tender the rest of this stuff over here we're gonna make that same sauce we made for the eggplant lasagna video because out of that video found out I was not a big fan of eggplant like that love eggplant parmesan was deep fried battered but it wasn't fan like that but the sauce is one thing I love that I made because I think these two are the trick to add but we're gonna make a meat sauce once these come out I'm going to show you how to shred this up real quick, and we'll go from there. So, I will see you in about 40 minutes. Hi, guys. Go. Hey, guys. And we're back. We have the spaghetti squash in here baking 40 minutes, 400 degrees, just as a reminder. See, our time is right there. Right now, we're going to make our sauce. This is going to be the exact same sauce we've already cooked. The only difference is, is that I'm using ground turkey over there instead of the sauce. It's a little bit healthier. So... First thing we're doing as last time, we got our onion nice finely chopped by my sous chef. So somebody was scared I was gonna cut my hand. Well, I mean and we're gonna get this and again. We're doing this till it kind of sweats a little bit. We're gonna cook it for about two minutes and we're gonna add our garlic. Remember this stuff we're gonna constantly move around. We don't want definitely don't want to burn our onion. What do you have the fire on? We got all about medium heat right now. So I see you're using a stock pot. Is yeah. that? Well, last time when we made the 
um, eggplant video, that pot we used was a little bit, pretty much was at the limit of everything we used. Like, if I stirred any harder, it was going to make a mess. So I want something a little taller this time, just for mess factor. Because nobody likes to clean their kitchen stove. No, we don't. So that's why I kind of went with this. You can use, as long as it can fit all the, all the items safely without making a mess, use that. That's why I prefer using this. And also, if you notice, cheap plug, this is an emerald pot, and I chose this also because our group cruise we just showed out recently. Oh. You know, June 4th, 2022. What about emerald? Well, he's got his own restaurant there, Bistro 1936. Cool. Which well, will be a quick service place, which is part free, part of your, um, part of your cruise there. Okay. But remember, if you want to book that cruise, just book, all the information will be at the bottom. The book with Miss Sherry at awesomesunsets.com. But back to the cooking video. <laughs> but, you know, so I'm just going to do this for a bit. Now, what I'm going to do is, and this is a trick I've learned after another YouTube creator who's one of my favorite cooking guy is actually Sam the Cooking Guy. If you ever get a chance, check out his channel. He does, every other day, he has something neat, but stuff kind of like what we do that almost anybody cooks. So we're going to take about a tablespoon of garlic. Garlic, you measure with your heart, not off a cookbook. So we're just going to drop this in here, like that. We're going to spray it out a little bit. And the trick of garlic needs about 45 seconds. Once we start smelling the garlic, is when we're going to mix it, mix it in with the onions. I smell it. Smell it good. That means release, so we can move it all back in here. And like I said, if you see the onions are already starting to sweat, we want to give them a little, I want to give them to where they're kind of just starting to get caramelized with their own sugars. Because I don't want no crunchy onion. Nope, you're not going to have any crunchy I don't, I don't like crunchy onions in my, in my pot. What I like about this salsa we're making, it kind of reminds me of our favorite Italian place in town that we haven't been to forever, which is called Marjuti's, which their whole thing is they make kind of a thinner sweet sauce, and it's just to die for. I mean, that's one of your favorite, that's your favorite salsa we, you can actually buy, it's actually a local sauce here that you can buy. Okay, just about, I think about five more minutes, and we'll be ready to throw in our meat. We'll be back. Okay. Okay. We're back? Yep. Okay, if you notice, the onions are exactly where I want them. They're nice and soft. Just starting to get a little color, so now it's time to add the ground turkey. And you don't have to add ground turkey. Remember, that's two pounds. That's two pounds, yes. And you don't have to use ground turkey. Um, you can use ground meat, you can use sausage, sausage pork, pork um, ground chicken. Turkey um, is probably the leanest. Is your leanest. In and terms of diet. Exactly. The only drawback of using ground turkey is they pump tur this ground turkey with a bunch of water. So it will have some residual that we'll probably have to cook off a little bit. How much time is on our... 26 minutes right now. So we're around time. Okay. My plan is to get this done a little bit before that, just so it's got a little bit of time to simmer and kind of come together. So we're just going to... Oh, should I tell everybody, since this is dropping this Tuesday, um, should I tell everybody who we have on our live this week? Yeah, sure. Sure. Um, this week we're going to have the Q's crew, Q's crew is on for an interview. I will be interviewing. This is one of the weeks for Kayla. It's an all. It's just me. We're going to interview the Q's crew. got a bunch of questions for him. What's the matter? Huh? He smells poultry. That's what the matter is. I don't smell poultry. This ain't chicken. Turkey's poultry. You cook turkey at the same time, it's still considered a chicken fam. So he smells something that's kind of like chicken, so I need a glove. That's going to get a little bit warm on my hand. Emeralds burning your hands? Yeah, just a smidge. So we're going to cook this until brown. Yep. Yeah. And then what? We're going to add our sauces to it. Okay. That's the next part. So I will see you once this is browned down. We'll be back.
Okay guys, we are back again. We're at the next step. If you notice, the turkey meat is brown. Like I said, it does have a little water, but we're gonna get that out with the next step. So we're gonna take our two jars of pasta sauce. Just pour it right in here. That was my shoe. Oh. Sorry, I'm wearing Crocs, guys. I that was not. That was Onyx. No, that was my Croc. That's a new noise. Okay, so we got that there. Also, we're going to take. Since we, usually I put sugar in, but since we're on diets and everything, we're going to use three split the packs. I would promise not to drop them like the eggplant lasagna piece. Drop down. How much? There. Where are we at with time? We're at 18 minutes. So now we're going to bring this all together. Let me get this so I don't burn myself. Reduce this to like a simmer. I want to bring it to a boil real quick. Okay. But then immediately bring it to a simmer. I want to get the sauce. Are you covering it with a lid? Yes, I'm going to use the lid that's here. Okay. It's for the pot. Now I'm just going to change the serve. You don't want to burn anything. The other thing about ground turkey I find is when you break it down, if you notice, it's not like ground meat where it stays in big chunks. It's kind of like little smaller chunks. So, I know some people have texture issues that could be one for you. If you don't like that, use ground meat, use ground pork, use sausage, like I use for lasagna. We're just on the push for Orlando, so I'm trying to, try to lose every pound I want I need to before I can ride the Hulk. All right, so we have 17 minutes until the squash is done. So we're gonna bring this back to a boil and then we're gonna drop it down to a simmer and cover it and stir it occasionally. Yes, that's the plan. So we'll be back in 17 minutes when the squash goes yes. off. All right, and we're back. We're about to pull out the spaghetti squash. So I'm gonna kill the timer because I'm a ninja like that. Oh. Yeah, oh, it is, looks very good. I'm gonna pull this bad boy out. These gloves are horrible. Ow, that hurt. Yeah. Ow, yeah, not using that again. Where's the ball ball time? Ooh, that hurt. Oh, Lord. Okay, next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna flip these bad boys over. So we got, you have to do this while they're warm. So, so I'm gonna that. This is not that warm. Uh, the, the stem. It's okay. So this one. The outside's really okay. Next, we're gonna do now. Like I said, you gotta do this while it's hot. You're gonna take a fork, I'll grab right here, and we're just gonna scrape. You're just gonna scrape, and it's gonna see how it's noodling up like that. That's what makes it spaghetti. spaghetti. <laughs> but again, the trick to this is do it the second you get out of the oven. You can use smaller spaghetti squash and do them, and then like some use them people, as bowls. yeah, some people use it as bowls. Like yeah. that would be too big of a helping. Yeah, but, that'd be um, way too big. Much of a stem there. Whew. Well, yeah. Well, my cutting skills are okay. I gotta use the glove right now. We can wash them. Why do you have to do this when it's hot? Because it's gonna harden. And you won't get, it won't be able to do this once it's cold. It's okay to leave it in the bowls or do we need to like put it in a You bowl? can, you can use it in the bowl, but, oh. <sighs> hot, this is, like I said, this is just kind of 4 degree oven people, so. Does that help if I hold it? Thank you. So we're just gonna scrape. And if you notice, it scrapes right off the skin right there, if you can see that. And this yeah. is already seasoned because it has salt, pepper, and oil in it. Yes. Now let's make sure I'm getting the side walls and Yeah, you are, you get a bunch out of there. Oh you get a bit. It's more than one would think. Alright, so our noodles are done. My thumb is burned. 
I'm gonna get us a little little helping over here going. So looks just like really spaghetti noodles. Just yellow. Yeah. That's it. It did. It even kind of tastes like spaghetti. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's got a little crunch factor to it. It's got a little sweetness to it, really. That's the big difference. So. You need a. I need a ladle. We'll take our ladle, and she'll kill the. Take your ladle. And then, really, however much sauce you Close normally to. want on your spaghetti. And boom! There it is. Spaghetti squash with red sauce right mm -hmm. there. And this is something also you can use with white sauce too. I've seen videos on that. Um, there are a bunch of ways I know you can find online to do the squash like just in the microwave. But through just to find your research, the way we did today is actually, from what I understand, the the best way to get out. My only suggestion, I am a person like once we make, I like to mix the noodles and the sauce together. I would not do that. I would not do that with spaghetti Separate sauce. Separate It's this. just, it's not as it, thick. It's, it's going to be very mushy. It's going to come out, it's going to kind of like break down. But it's something you can definitely separate together like she said. Hold this. <laughs> okay. I was going to taste it. Okay. Looks really good. Mm -hmm. Oh goodness! It's a little hot. Yes, Onyx. How's it? It's really good. How's the sauce? It's really good. Sweet sauce? Yeah, it is a little sweet. Yeah, that's why I went for that. If you don't like a sweet sauce, don't use the Vidalia like, onion. If you didn't tell anyone, I'm not sure that they wouldn't know that these were not noodles. If you did tell them, I think they would just the color may throw them off a little bit, but yeah. But once it gets with the sauce, right? So, well, okay. Well, next week, can you take a skin for me? I guess we're doing next week. I'm eating. Okay. <laughs> next week we're gonna do something a little different. I'm actually gonna show you my meal prep, as you can tell. I've lost a little weight. Mm -hmm. um, we're gonna do this brand new marinade that I tried two days. Actually, a good friend of mine's friend gave me this. I'm gonna show you how to do this marinade. I'm gonna show you how I barbecue chicken to where you don't have to worry. I do chicken breast where you don't have to worry about coming out uneven with cooking. We're gonna do that, and I'm gonna show you pretty much how what my diet's been the last two months. Outside of doing fun stuff like this, which I'll probably just have a little bit of that, but the chicken I've been making has been my bread and butter. So. We will see y'all next Tuesday, 6 o'clock, Easter Day time, like always. See y'all later. Bye. Bye.